Glasgow caller. Minister, I wish to raise with you the very serious matter where government policy is being fine tuned to cut far and prod. Uh, production by reweighting, cutting dairy cow numbers and the nitrates directive. This will impact directly on farmers' incomes, reduce vibrancy in every sector of rural communities, and it will also impact on food security and increase the cost of food to everyone in our country. And as we export high quality food products all over the world, who is going to replace us? Will they create a greater carbon footprint? Globally, we are all under the same sky, and are, we mo are more people going to be let starve as over four, 750 million are, uh, are starving all over the world in different parts of it? Is it going to be the same story as the briquettes and peat moss, which um, we now import because we, we can't pr produce the same ourselves? At the same time, many farmers are sequestering carbon uh, all over our country more carbon than they emit, and it's wrong to be penalising and curtailing farmers for producing when no credit or recognition has been given to, to, to those who are sequestering carbon. We are being told that measuring of sequestration won't take place until at least 2027. 20, How can that be fair? Reweighting this obnoxious proposal is propo as proposed will only affect farmers who had worked hard for generations to drain and improve their land to make their holdings uh, more uh, productive and to get value out of fertilizer and nutrients. Reweighting won't affect farms in the Golden Vale or Tipperary, whose lands can't be wetted even in the wettest of days. Uh, so this reweighting is discriminating against farmers in poorer type lands. Are we going to let more land go wild with overgrowth and scrub? You could have a scenario at some stage where tons of acres would go on fire with fires burning across county bounds. Your, uh, your uh, leader and tarnished it actually lost it when I asked him over a year ago about your proposal to call the dairy head. But uh, he denied it. But now it's clear that you're at it again. And, and it's, clear, it's clear to me that government has no appreciation of farmers. The nitrates directive regulations will, upset, will impact on many dairy farms while doing very little to improve water quality it will, uh, and, and will automatically reduce cow numbers and milk production. If they can't buy a rent extra land, how can they compete even with Eamon Ryan on behalf of the state and the market competing for the same land? Are we going to have more acres like the 26,000 acres in the National Park in Killarney completely overrun with deer, out of control, killing people on our roads and robbing farmers grazing? For decades people were vilified and criminalised by uh, environmentalists if they touched the deer. Now the same environmentalists are saying that the deer will have to be culled to help biodiversity. They have no problem with the other problems they're creating, Minister. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Deputy Healy Ray. Look, at the outset, I want to underline the government's support for uh, the family farm and the principle of it all over Ireland. Uh, I negotiated with Minister McConnell Logue over the last number of budgets, significant increases in, in the funding for his department. Uh, he successfully negotiated a new strategic cap plan worth almost €10 billion Euro out to 2027, uh, which resulted in an increase in 50 per cent in the national contribution uh, compared to the previous plan and provided for an extra €1 billion Euro, uh, for farm families uh, under that plan. Uh, you made a point there in relation to uh, the dairy herd. The Dairy Food Vision Committee, which includes the farm organisations, has made a proposal along those lines. The government has made no such decision in relation to uh, a voluntary reduction in the dairy herd. So just to be clear on that, it is a proposal that has come from uh, the committee, which does include the farm organisations, uh, but the government has not made uh, any such decision in relation uh, to that. On the uh, EU nature restoration law, as you know, a proposed general approach was agreed um, earlier this week. Uh, at the Ministerial Council in Luxembourg, uh, which were attended by both uh, Ministers Noonan and Ryan. Uh, it gives the next Council Presidency uh, a mandate to enter a trilogue phase with the Commission and the Parliament, leading to full ratification 
uh, by the end of this year. Separately, the Environment Committee of the European Parliament considered their proposed amendments to the original text on Thursday of last week, the 15th of June. Voting took place on an amendment-by-amendment -amendment basis and did not conclude uh, due to the time constraint. The debate will resume on the 27th of June. Both the Agriculture and Fisheries Committees have voted uh, to not support the regulation. And it is our position as a government uh, that we hope to see the Parliament now move uh, in line with the position uh, of the Council, because the position of the Council uh, is one that we can support. As previously outlined, Ireland remains supportive of the ambition and the principles underpinning the proposed regulation. However, the challenge involved in meeting the ambition proposed uh, remains very significant. We acknowledge that, and it includes the extremely tight timeframes for quantification of targets and measures and for the preparation of national restoration plan and for the delivery of targets. Uh, there will be uh, a need for a considerable amount of scientific data collection, uh, collation and analysis, including emerging information uh, from the land use review and the resources required for preparing and implementing and monitoring uh, the national restoration plan uh, are not currently in place and would need to be put in place. So this issue, Deputy, has some uh, way to run yet. Uh, the Council now in Europe has agreed a position. Uh, we hope the Parliament will move in line with that. We support uh, the uh, position that the Council has adopted because Ireland was very much part of and helped to shape uh, the thank outcome of those discussions. Thank, thank, th thank you, Minister, for your reply. But you see, Minister, you're not being uh, truthful to the farmers. You are, are, are not telling them what, what's needed or what's going to happen. Because earlier this year, he agreed that farmers would have to cut their, uh, their emissions by 25%. He said this would be achievable. Uh, tell us, please, what you are going to do and uh, uh, what farmers have to do. And farmers want to know what they have to do. Because already farmers are sequestering carbon. And he, he haven't, they're getting no credit for that. So how can you say farmers must cut production and cut uh, their, their emissions when you don't know how much, how much emissions they're already sequestering? That's the, that, that's the, the, the crucial point, Minister. You don't know what they're sequestering, and you don't give a damn, only put farmers under pressure by telling them they'll have to rewet their lands, and that they'll have to call their cows, and you're ambivalent with the truth. When I asked the tarnished uh, over 12 months ago, he went mad, he went wild, he said that I was making it up. I read it myself. Thank you, and, and here we have you now again, and he won't still tell the farmers Deputy what they have to do, to only that they must cut Minister production, and at the same time they're sequestering way more carbon Minister, than they are emitting. Deputy, thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you. Minister to respond. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Deputy. Uh, to be honest, I'd be more optimistic than you are. Uh, I recently visited uh, the Farm Zero C project. Michael, Deputy Collins there will be very familiar with it, in Shinnok and Bandon, uh, where uh, Carberry, uh, the four West Cork co-ops have come together to develop, uh, on a commercial basis, uh, a farm that is environmentally sustainable. And so it took us through all of the different aspects of what they're doing, uh, testing different feedstuffs, changing and reducing, of course, the nature uh, of the fertilizer, uh, also experimenting with multi-species forms of, of swarbs, different grass types, and so on. They are making incredible progress and doing it on a commercially viable basis. And I've no doubt with the support of uh, Science Foundation Ireland, uh, Chagask, all of the partners who are working very closely with Minister McConnell Logue and his department and the stakeholders, the farm organizations themselves and the ind individual farmers, uh, we will chart a way through this. And I, it's important to say the latest text that has been agreed provides for very significant flexibility. And there will now be uh, a process of engagement between the minister and the sector to make sure that what we signed Thank up to Minister. is achievable, is in Ireland's Fair interest, market. recognises Fair the strategic importance of agriculture Fair to this country, and that we Fair already market. have a sustainable Fair system market. of food production here, uh, which will Fair continue market. long into the future.